Welcome insiders to Deck Inside. I'm your host, Eric. So I'm not too happy right now, so let's start ranting after the intro. By the way, this is Let's Talk. <laughs> Just recently in the Apple rumors, we've been hearing about a possible 12 inch MacBook Air. We've heard about these rumors for some time now. We've also heard about rumors about a possible iPad Pro with a 10 to 12 inch screen. But just recently when it comes to the MacBook Air 12 inch, we've heard lots of information about it. Obviously it's probably gonna have a retina display because Apple's pushing retina displays. It's also supposed to have a redesign, maybe even thinner. And that's where the problems are because most recently we've been hearing that the possible MacBook Air with a 12 inch screen is gonna only have two ports, a headphone jack, which is great. I mean, everything should have a headphone jack. I wanna plug in my headphones, but the only other port is gonna be a USB-C port which is a big issue. USB-C is a new kind of USB port, very similar to like a lightning port on an iPad. It's supposed to be reversible, but it is still based off of USB technology. It's almost like a micro USB, but it's reversible and it's a port that's made for a laptop. And not only can it just send data between like a flash drive or hard drive, it can also send information from a display so I can have a display running off a USB-C port, and it can also have power, so I can charge a device with it. So it's basically an all-in-one port, even more so than a Thunderbolt port, which seems to be a nice idea, but the problem is this possible MacBook Air with the 12-inch display might only have one USB-C port, and that might be the only ports the MacBook Air has, which some people might be okay with, but I honestly don't think that's gonna be a good thing. I mean, at least have two or three, but just one, what happens if I have my MacBook Air and I'm charging it and oh no, my iPhone's dead. How do I now charge it if I wanna charge my iPhone with my MacBook Air? Oh wait, I can't because the USB-C port's already being taken up. And also what about an SD card reader? A lot of people actually do get the MacBook Air 13 inch compared to the 11 inch because of the SD card reader. And I know a lot of people that aren't really technically inclined. They don't really do much with their computer, but they still need a computer to transfer their photos and videos on because they shoot pictures and videos with a DSLR. And now if a MacBook Air 12 inch doesn't have an SD card reader, am I expecting now to carry around an SD card reader that just goes in the USB-C port? And what if I want to have multiple accessories? It's already bad enough that some of the Macs only have two USB ports with only one that also doubles as power. Am I going to now have to carry around a special USB-C hub? I personally just really don't understand this. The MacBook Air is supposed to be a portable device. I mean, all the MacBooks are supposed to be portable laptops. And now if I have to carry around tons of accessories like a USB-C hub, then the USB-C card reader, and tons of nonsense, then how is it a portable machine anymore? It just seems to be a big nuisance. Part of me gets pretty mad with these rumors, but then again, we don't actually know what's going to happen. These rumors might be completely off. Unfortunately, rumors with Apple have been pretty good recently, so we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe Apple has something up their sleeves and they're going to make this one USB-C port actually function right. Of course, we're going to have to wait and see. I worry that Apple, though, is really going to be trying to push like wireless technology with the MacBook Air. Like, oh, you can transfer files through Wi-Fi and stuff, but I don't think we're really ready for that. So that's what really worries me. And even with Bluetooth, Bluetooth isn't even ready to at least compete with like a USB device. If I want to transfer files off my camera right now, I want to plug in the SD card to a computer. I do not want to transfer things through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And let's not even mention that my camera doesn't even have that ability to. Regardless, though, I'm going to be opened. We're going to see what happens. I'm up for trying anything that Apple is going to make. Obviously, USB-C is the future. Of course, we'll have to see how Apple implements it and other companies, because I know other companies are pushing USB-C as an all-in-one port. But let me know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about USB-C? What do you think about a possible MacBook Air 12-inch with only one USB-C port and nothing else besides a headphone port? Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Please leave more comments down below. Please leave a subscribe, share your friends, help out the channel any way you can. Hope you like these kind of ranting videos. If you want me to do more, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, my name's Eric. This is Tech Inside, and I'll see you in the next video.